We really gotta get rid of this moss. Hey, Tom from Tom's Tunes. This is a 1995 Gill Gitter. There is a pretty strong following for these little pontoon boats. This happens to be about 14 foot long. It's seven foot wide. So on some bodies of water and just for some people in general, this is a preferred size pontoon. It trailers easy, it fits in places, big ones don't. And it's got all the comforts and stability of a big pontoon boat. If you look at it, the main focus on this restoration is gonna be the carpet. We're getting rid of the carpet. We're getting rid of the plywood. We're putting all new plywood and vinyl floor, gonna be a tan weave. Keeping the railings, those will clean up okay. And we're gonna go ahead and replace the seating, but we're gonna stick with kind of the theme of the teal, the purples, and we're gonna go with the classic ivory with teal seats from pontoonstuff.com. A couple flip-flop seats, a couple fishing seats, and a new helm. Let's just walk around real quick and take a peek. The deck trim, honestly, it's in really good shape for a 1995. The bimini top, they just replaced. This is a seven foot wide, so a little, little bit unique in terms of what bimini you can use, but that will stay and it'll match the new seats well. The layout's gonna stay the same. We're gonna keep the control box on the railing, gonna do a new helm right here with the flip-flop seat as the driver's seat and keep the back the same as well. The battery and gas tank will be out on the back. But again, no more of this. I don't know if you can see just how serious this moss is. I mean, this is like, you couldn't grow it better on a tree if you tried. That will be a thing of the past. When we get the new vinyl on, we'll raise the railings up off the floor a little bit, which will keep it clean. All in all, this boat's gonna keep the retro look, but have all the nice conveniences of a new boat for a fraction of the price. I'm gonna get to work on this right now. Right now. Are you sure? Right now. Right now. Are you gonna eat lunch first? No, I already ate lunch. Okay. Yeah. You should put your sweatshirt back on, you look chilly. It's cold in here, it is. Okay, okay. If you are wondering if you need new plywood, you know our motto, we always put new plywood on boats, even if they're five or 10 years old. But here's something you can look at. This was a doorway. And if we look at this, and you can see in the video here, how much sag there is in the middle. So this was a common place. People were on and off the boat and it shows really well in person here that there is significant sag. You can see how wet that plywood is, all the layers. I and mean, this stuff's 30 years old, so we're obviously going to replace it. But that's just one of those things. If you're trying to do it on a budget and you don't want to replace the plywood, first I have to tell you, you always should replace the plywood. But if you're not going to, check spots like this to see if there's some wear and tear and if that plywood's starting to get soft. Looking underneath, aside from all these spider webs, you can tell that we have self tappers. So self-tapping screws, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut slits. Sometimes you have to slit it all the way across. Sometimes once you start pulling, it'll just keep ripping on that same line. But this is gonna help expose our self-tappers. one here. We still have to work at it a little bit to get at it, but this will expose them. We can remove the self-tappers or cut around them like this. Pretty rusty. There's a chance that's just not going to come out. We may end up using the hole saw trick to cut around it. Then we can angle grind it or use pliers and twist it out. Let's get this thing torn down. If you haven't seen us do this before, this is a totally rusted, stripped out, self-tapping screw. Corey's got about a one inch hole saw. There's no bit in the middle there. So that way we can go around 
that stripped out screw and this wood is so wet that it grabs pretty well you can always start it in reverse if you want just to score it and she's just going to work around that screw until she gets down to the cross member and that will allow us to lift this board off and then once we lift the board off We'll go back either with an angle grinder or pliers. We could back the screw out with pliers or just cut it right off flush with an angle grinder. We've got a couple more to go, but this will show you. That's the one Corey just did. I just did that one. Those are up, ready to be loosened. So we just got to get a couple more and then we'll get this board right off. And as you can see, these are left up. I could grab these with vice grips and usually I can loosen them right out, but I've found the fastest way is to just take my angle grinder and zip them flush. And then we can lay tar tape and get this decked. But that's what you're left with when you do that hole cutting. It's just basically a faster way to get the wood off. It adds a step, but sometimes it's the only way when your screws are all corroded and stripped like that. This is something that we commonly deal with. If you could tell me what all these went to, I think that you should win a million dollars, but I can't figure it out. Clearly, whoever put them in couldn't figure it out. One of these has a note on it that says, this was, let's see what it says here. This was marked B, but we disconnected A by switch. I don't know. What do I do with this stuff? This is one thing. Let's look at the back where the battery was. Here are our positive leads. One, two, three, four positives with some other stuff spliced in there. There are six negatives that were all hooked to the battery. In a boat like this, when we install a harness that's done properly, we should only have the outboard battery cables, a positive and a negative, and a positive and a negative that will run to the battery from our switch. Here's our ground, our negative, and then there's a fuse in line on, or a breaker in line on the positive. We're ripping all this out. It's gonna save time. It's gonna allow me to guarantee what I'm doing is done correctly. And it's gonna be a lot cleaner if anybody else has to ever get underneath the helm and install new things. We are going to install this plug with this pigtail to their existing switch panel, which already has a plug, but this doesn't line up. So we're gonna splice in into here, add our plug, and then we can use the switch panel, which is perfectly good. A little older, but that's fine. But we can use this, save a little bit of money there. We are right about to send this 1995 Gill Gitter, seven foot wide, 14 total feet long. About to send it out the door. But let's look at what we did on it because this is really cool in terms of what's possible to match this kind of retro color scheme and still look really sharp and new. Big things you're gonna notice, the woven vinyl floor in tan really ties in well to the cream color of the railings. And there's a little bit of purple and teal which is gonna show really well in these classic seats. These are the ivory face with teal accents. Let's hop up in there and just get a quick look at everything we did inside the boat with the new seating and the flooring and a new console too. If you're out fishing with a couple friends, you can have a couple people in the back of the boat, you can have a couple people up front on these swivel seats, casting really comfortable fishing seat. I know for the price, this is a great, option 
in terms of being cost effective and super comfortable. It hits me up high in my back. I can lean back comfortably. Love these seats on a fishing style pontoon boat. We did the classic console. So keeping that color scheme tied in with the ivory and teal. And we were able to reuse their electrical panel, their switch panel. We were able to tie in the horn, new horn from pontoon stuff. New standard navigation lights in the front, so a more cost-effective option as well versus the LEDs. If you're not using them a ton, you're gonna be just fine with that option too. The other things we're able to do is tie in docking lights because we used the wiring harness from pontoonstuff.com. Makes wiring your boat a million times easier. And we have the side LED. These are from pontoon stuff as well. They're gonna light up the water, give you a little mood lighting for your evening cruises. And then the last thing that we did, I'm gonna talk about these flip-flop seats in a second, but this last switch, you can't hear it, but it runs a live well pump. It's a bilge pump that's wired into and mounted on the back of the pontoon. It feeds into this flip-flop seat. So if you look inside of here, these flip-flop seats are set up differently. This one mainly just being for storage. It could be a cooler. There's a drain plug in it. But then also on this one, we are able to install a drain for a live well. We have our fill right here. And if you take a look around on the back side, the way that these work, why they're so unique and so cool on certain boats, is I can simply flip the seat back. And now I can face fish cruise out the other side of the boat rather than being stuck facing forward. That bilge pump runs the hose off the back of the boat, comes right up through, and we're able to use a longer fitting to go through the wall of our actual seat base, because that is a walled base. These could be made into a cooler. We filled them with expanding foam from the bottom before and then insulated them to make them hold ice all day. So that's a really cool feature on this boat to be able to integrate that live well for fishing, and bait well, whatever you need it for. I think that's pretty much it on this boat. Really neat how we tied in that retro theme, but still made it feel and look brand new. You can get all of these items, the classic seats, the fishing seats, the console, everything from pontoonstuff.com. Use Tom's Tunes at checkout to save 5% on your whole project. Hopefully it'll save you a few hundred bucks. That helps our channel. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button see what other projects we're working on.